Hello, myself Dr. Amarindo Kumar Sarma, a professor of physics at IIT Guwahati. I am going to offer you a course on quantum entanglement at its measure or quantification. You know that quantum mechanics is one of the most successful theory of physics since 20th century and it has its findings and principles has impacted all branches of natural sciences and engineering including physics, chemistry, electrical engineering, information technology and so on and it has also it is evident that increasingly it is going to impact biology as well. Because of quantum mechanics principles we have seen unprecedented advancement in technology. For example because of quantum mechanics we have transistors, lasers, uh, even internet, mobile communications, the entire field of electronics actually owes to principles of quantum mechanics. Uh, now we have now come to a stage where it is possible to uh, manipulate and control individual quantum system and because of that it is said that we are now in the beginning of the so-called second quantum revolution and in all such technological uh, advancement in particular this new generation of quantum technology quantum entanglement is going to play the most vital role uh, in fact it is going to play the most key role because quantum entanglement is going to be used as an as an as a as a resource for uh, many many applications related to second generation of quantum technology for example, already it has been used in quantum uh, cryptography and then quantum teleportation, uh, secure data transmission and so on. In this uh, course, uh, in this MOOC, we are going to uh, discuss part mainly the technical aspect of quantum entanglement without going into the philosophical implication of quantum entanglement. and. Uh, Particularly, we are going to discuss about the quantification and measure of quantum entanglement. This particular course is divided into four modules. In first module, I am going to give a brief, uh, I basically briefly revisit the quantum mechanics and some mathematical tools that would be necessary for understanding quantum entanglement. And in the second module, I will give the uh, physics of quantum entanglement third module we will discuss about measures of quantum entanglement which is also called quantification. Uh, I am planning to discuss both uh, discrete variable and continuous variable quantum entanglement here and in the final module, module that is the module number 4 I am going to discuss about some applications of quantum entanglement such as quantum teleportation, super dense coding and, and so on and in fact I am uh, I will also uh, take some example from uh, light matter interaction particularly the entanglement between light and mechanics uh, using some uh, quantum optomechanical system just to illustrate how the so called uh, measures related to continuous variable entanglement is utilized. Uh, I, I feel that this course is going to be very useful for uh, students as well as researchers or whoever has started working in this uh, particular area and uh, as a prerequisite uh, I expect that uh, the students uh, will have some elementary knowledge of quantum mechanics at Griffiths level and I think that would be uh, good enough for in any case uh, I am going to take up a bottom up approach and uh, most of the you know fundamentals and necessary tools that is required will be discussed uh, uh, all along the course. So I hope to see you uh, in the course. Thank you so much.